Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Ethan. And, and this, this is, is a Highlander, Highlander review. review. And today we've got Rogue Sriracha. Everybody loves Sriracha. It makes everything taste better. Um, we all know that. Yeah, this it's been is proven. A, kind of a crazy looking beer here. Um, we've actually drank a few hot beers before, so we're pretty excited about this one. I don't think it's going to be hot, but maybe, maybe it will have that Sriracha spice. Hopefully. Yeah. Anyway. That'd be pretty good. I hope it doesn't like just overpower and it's just gonna be kind of drinking interesting. sriracha out of the bottle. Yeah, because you know, like sriracha be, is kind of like garlicky and stuff. Really I'm not like sure that. like what they're going for in this beer. Not either. Um, doesn't have a big label. I think we could read this one. Yep. Take it away, Chris. Let's see, uh, sriracha hot stout beer by Rogue. It's uh, actually says Rogue Rooster Sauce on it. Uh, natural ingredients. Don't shake. Uh, be any beer. Um, Rogue Ales and Spirits gives the address, uh, phone number, and the website. Uh, website's rogue.com. Can't get any more simple than that. Let's see. Dedicated to the rooster. Rogue Sriracha Hot Stout Beer made from Hui Fong Original Hot Chili Sauce and Sun Ripened Rogue Farm Ingredients. Is ready to drink with soups, sauces, pasta, pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers, chow mein, or anything you'd like to wash down with a spicy kick. Um, got the government warnings. It's uh, 5.7 alcohol by volume. I don't know. I think any beer goes pretty good with about all that stuff listed there. Um, yeah, that's definitely going to be interesting. Uh, I wonder if it's actually going to yeah, like, check the cap out. That's pretty cool. Have a hint of sriracha. Yeah, it's actually got a green cap like the cap of the sriracha. Yeah, and I, I think the sriracha actually says uh, "do not shake" on it too. I don't know if that's anything to do with the beer or not. But uh, maybe I might be wrong. I, don't know, I guess we'll crack it open and see what happens. I don't think we have any in the fridge to compare, but <laughs> you see it all the time. And uh, you got a good idea. I'll do it. Sriracha. Do I save the cat for the one? Alright. Smells like a like a stout. Um, <laughs> oh no, it smells like fucking pepperoni. <laughs> it's, I don't know about all that yet. Uh, it, it, like stout kind of like, smells like sriracha, yeah. Stout with like a weird... Um, pepperoni taste, like old pepperoni. Like someone just burped like, in your face after eating pizza. It's like it, it's I don't weird. know, it's, it's I'm, kind I'm, of funky. I'm, I don't know what to think I'm about I'm interested that. what it's going to smell like in the glass. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of smelling the chili spice though. Too so that kind yeah, of, the chili spice that makes me through. feel that makes me feel a little bit better. It smells a little bit more like chilies now that I'm kind of used to it. But at first, ugh. okay, it's definitely a stout, nice and dark. Oh shit! I just spilled it on me, or the table. Beer can't be wasted, though. I'll drink that later. <laughs> Call abuse. <laughs> yep, that's a... Uh, God damn, you always get dark. way too much head on there, don't you? <laughs> Still smells the same. Get more of the, like, the roasty toasty Yeah, sounds. I'm getting more of that. And I smell more of the sriracha coming through. Yeah. Like the kind of I'm getting spiciness. more, kind of little burn in the nose a little bit mm -hmm. not not in your face burn but slight like kind of like you smelled a like some onions or something i guess maybe um, maybe that's not a good example but it's kind of tingly uh, burn that's interesting i've definitely never smelled beer hmm. like that definitely like peppers uh, um yeah we've had like some pepper beers um, ghost face killer ghost face killer billy's chili so the ghost pepper beer and they they all like reek of chilies. I still wanna try crime and punishment by stone. This doesn't Can't reek of it chilies, is. it just has like a slight hot kind of smell to it. Interesting. I just like to drop off my arm and uh it's it's got spice. Alright. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Hmm. 
I like that. That's good. Not the smell. The smell's not that great, in my opinion. But the taste, it's pretty good. I'm digging it. That's inter oh. in interesting. Yeah, Chris has a loss of words. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Just the look. Uh, on the front end, I'm getting, like, like the hops yeah. and everything. And, like, in the middle... Kind of kicks in this weird sriracha with yeah, heat. Yeah, it's like type flavor, like super light sriracha flavor with heat, mild yeah. heat. It's super complex. And then it kind of evens out and ends with a roasty, slight hot bitter taste. Yeah, I agree there. Um, on the back end, yeah, when it's not in your mouth, I'm getting like a really nutty aftertaste. It's bizarre. I'm just getting a roasty taste at the very end. Like just sitting here in my mouth on my palate. It's I could see where he's coming from with the, the nutty taste. It's like a strange strange nutty flavor. I, I, it's just weird to me. I'm not really getting the full nutty flavor. But it, can... it, it must be like that kind of sriracha coming through just like sitting there. Yeah, mixed maybe. With, mixed with the beer. I, I, I dig it. I'd buy it again. Just for the hell of it. it sitting around it's interesting. I, we definitely had better uh, spicy. Oh, yeah, for be sure. Better spicy beers. Um, flavor's just bizarre to me. Um, on an apparent scale, uh, like the bottle's great. I love the bottle. It looks like a bottle of sriracha. And the beer itself is that of a good rogue, rogue brew. It got a nice head. When does rogue ever have a bad bottle. I love all their bottles. They just go over it's the top. Got spectacular lacing. Um, good color. Good bouquet. Um, it smells nice. Um, I think. I think it smells better than it tastes, to be honest. <laughs> really? Uh, it smells like asshole. Like <laughs> what I imagine asshole smells like. But I mean, um, on that scale, I, I'm, I'm going to have to give it a, a nine, actually. Um, on the smell? Like, just on the Dude. smell, like its appearance. He likes the smell of, of sweaty asshole. <laughs> that is... <laughs> I don't know about Everyone that. has their own opinion. <laughs> so, like, working all day in, like, a hot warehouse, and get home and take your clothes off. And just pick up your underwear and just... That's probably no, what you smell. <laughs> well, I don't know what you've been eating. But. No, it's, it's not that bad. I'm over-exaggerating, but... Well, what would you give it? Get it, did it? You did an overall nine? No, not like an overall, just the appearance. Oh, appearance? Yeah, definitely a nine. Hell, I'd I'd actually go a ten because this really caught my eye in the store. I'm, uh, it stuck out from everything. Obviously, it's bright fucking red. On the on the flavor, um, I'm actually starting to get like some garlicky tones now that I haven't tasted. I can taking see a sip, that. Taking a sip. I for can a while. see that too. Now that you mention it, it's like kind of garlicky tasting. Um, yeah. No. On a, on a flavor scale, um, compared to like some other hot beers, and 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 this does have like a slight sriracha flavor to it. it, it it's totally bizarre. It's a good stout. Um, sriracha flavor off puts me a little bit, but they're definitely going what they're going for. Um, I'll go ahead and give it an uh, an eight on on a flavor. Um, I think it could be uh, hotter. Sriracha is much hotter than this beer. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd like it to be a little bit more Mu spicy as well. Much hotter. Could I, always spice it all I, up. I, I, I think they uh, I think they kind of missed the mark on that. But other than that, um, it, it it is what it touts to be. I mean, it's quite the challenge though to add sriracha to beer. They did it. Some overall taste, I mean, I'm going to go with an 8 honor. Just because I'd like to see more spice. That's my opinion. More spice, maybe a little bit more of the sriracha to carry through. I think that could have been a little bit more. But other than that, it's it's pretty damn near perfect. It's, it's probably well executed. Overall betweenness, sure. I'm going to have to say it's probably like around the 8 or 9 scale. Um, Nobody's really tried to mimic a hot sauce, though. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, anybody can just say, oh, I got a chili beer. That's true. And you know, they try to mimic um, sriracha. That's if you like sriracha and you like stouts, this is the beer for you. Um, it'd, no. be, it'd be really good to drink with food, to be honest. Um, just as a leisure sipping beer, no. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did say I would probably just sit back and drink this. I, I, I take that back. It, it, it's definitely meant to be drank while eating, for sure. That's probably why they state that on the back. Pizza, pasta, sauces, chow. Pretty much any food. Be good with meat, Burgers, stuff like that. Pork chops. Um, Raised meat. meat. Pretty good. Uh, novelty beer for sure. Uh, Go out and try it. It's a road. It's a cool it's bottle for the kill shelf, too. And that being said, I think we've said all we could about this beer. Hope you guys enjoyed if you buy it yourself. And uh, like, subscribe, share. Highlander Herps.